years it normally gets interesting Christmas night you might get an increase in incidents and Boxing Day you might get an increase in incidents but New Year's Eve you don't get a lot of incidents until 12 o'clock but these days if everybody wait until let's first say Happy New Year before we start assaulting each other These guys want to close this lane. You can break, so you mustn't move with it. Sorry, boss. Fast trap of one minute, fast, eh? Baba, I'm gonna have to put the needle in your hand, eh? It's for a treat. I'll give you maybe a little bit of something for the pain. Also, we're going to make sure that your blood pressure is okay, eh? Alright. Chagos is on the field. This is basically my office. Every day, different scenery. Every day, a different group of people. I always tell the guys that we're the spoiled brats of the EMS service. We get cars that we can drive every day, all day. We're the only career we can, we can actually see that people are dying to meet us and we're not joking. <laughs> Five years back, I didn't, even three years back, I didn't have to greet my family and home as if I'm going to not come back the following day. I greet my family as if I'm going to walk. Despite um, the harsh working conditions that we deal with, it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding. It's basically me giving back to the very community that gave me or has provided me with exposure to mold and shape me for what I am today. Oh, I'm assisting the exact same people that assisted me when I was much younger, especially like the older people. I work in the exact same community that I grew up in. There's a lot of people know you, they know where you live, so if something happened and you're off, they tend to knock on your door. For assistance. <laughs> uh, 74 dispatch, go ahead over. Uh, 74, I need your assistance. That's uh, number 14, Dylan Street in the East Central Street, uh, across the Buffalo Street. Way to the field, you know, complaining of two stones, non-cardiac hypertension patient. 
on slip number 1766, slip number 1766. The incident time there, it's uh, 2034, it's 2034. Over. 2034, Roger intercepted, Lieutenant. Over. <laughs> Just because we get my bags. Yeah, we're currently going to Ilan Street, that's in Eastridge. It's another very busy area. Uh, there's a 54 year old non cardiac hypertensive patient now with complaining of chest pain. This is one of the areas that um, should be marked as a red zone. Matter of fact, during the day, there's uh, they shooting. So, we're waiting for something to happen before we see him. This area as a red zone. Alright, so uh, once you uh, have loaded with your patients, you have got uh, two patients for transfer. Yeah? Previously, we could have gone into any area. Mm. We were safe, people didn't worry, but uh, for the past year and a half, we've been experiencing a lot of robberies when it comes to ambulances. Ambulance staff don't fight back, unfortunately. And we're not getting any weapons or any form of protection, so. It's easy pickings for these guys. Yeah, vehicle 64 was smashed about, about a month back off Bota Street in Eastridge and they stoned the vehicle. Matter of fact, they threw the entire windshield in. Boxing Day. Yeah. A crew was robbed in Kailicha and then there was another one went in with SAPS. Yes. Then the moment the SAPS was around the corner, the car was stopped and the crew members were robbed at knife point. Fortunately for myself, I've only been assaulted once. I've been assaulted once. Isolated incident happened about six years ago. Where I had my nose broken. Um, our lives are not safe on the road any longer. We are actually, you know, risking our lives doing what we do. I've developed a new strategy for myself, is that we first go in, assess, and see whether the area is safe, see whether the patient is okay, and then come out and get equipment in order to take inside. But the moment we start engaging with our patients, we take very little notice of what's happening around us, most times. And these guys are taking advantage of that. It's easy pickings. Basically, like they say, you need to see around the corner. You see, this is how this area is day and night. At any given time, you'll find the area like this. Ilan Strat! Ilan, Ilan! It's not right down. Yeah, now this is Buffalo that we're in. And I think there should be... Ilan. Um... What was the number in Eland? Are you phone for an ambulance? I'm a 14. I'm a 14. I'm a 14. Oh, okay, yeah, we're the same thing. Control 24A over. In huge crowds like that, I normally just stop and ask them where's the admin so that I can size up who is in the crowd and what the crowd is like. So there's just a more of a gauging what the situation can be within the next 10-15 minutes. 
Thank you. Can we check your blood pressure for Excuse me. See what your blood pressure is like. All right, almost probably the arm your right, you see. Uh, left, almost probably the arm that you left. <laughs> Excellent. 7.7. 7.7. That's nice. Just to assist you. Okay. Patients are there's no significant changes now currently that we can see. Oh, I worried a little bit of blood pressure, which is elevated slightly. And she's still complaining of a chest pain that's ongoing. Sats at 97, heart rate at 90, AGT at 7.7, .7, respiratory rate at 16, temperature at 36.5. Well, when we're going to take him on to the hospital, then. We just been in the hospital. goes off and we get a call what is going to happen at scene or our safety that's the very first thing that goes to my mind uh, 74 yes. uh, little female uh, we turn it towards Mitchell Spain day over I think that's your last one for the evening there, Mr. Mr. Martin, over. That's a four, over. That's a four. Uh, you see how busy the road is, though. Thank you again, sir. Happy New Year to your family. Same to you and uh, to the rest of our colleagues in the control center. And to their families as well. Control 24 AM. Blood pressure is nice though. Your blood pressure can down until nice. Take that one and you want to come back to the school again. Over. Honestly, when I'm at work, I'm at work and I tend to leave whatever negativity, whatever issues I had during the course of my shift, I tend to leave that at work. The moment I get to the base, turn off the vehicle, clean, unpack, unwind and then it stays at, at work. When I do get home, they must just leave me for half an hour, let me just sit down and unwind it's a grueling 12 hours it can be a very grueling 12 hours it can be at times a very emotional 12 hours a lot of us actually think that we're invincible here we think that we're invincible we can't be touched we can't be harmed because we are getting uniform